Hey everybody, welcome back to the Norwegian 737 project. You're getting tired of hearing that intro, aren't you? <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? I'm uh, still working. And uh, since the last video, I went shopping. I bought me a welding machine. Just a little machine that runs uh, no gas. It's, it's a MIG welder. Flux welding, no gas welding machine. And it's perfect for my needs because I don't want to have have to have that big old gas bottle that goes with uh, those MIG machines. And I've tried it out, and it works perfectly for what I need to um, weld. Also, I bought me one of those. I bought little small items like these ones. They're going on the side walls. Needs to be cut to the right shape, right size, and then uh, just mount them. Bought me a little, a few more tools, and uh, so I'm good to go. That welding machine, I tried it out on these. Uh, I've, I've made me some steel tubes for a uh, to use as a frame for the overhead, and uh, it's getting there. But I'm not going to be able to finish it off today. I need, I have to go home now. I got to go to the grocery store before it closes. Uh, but I did figure out the angles between the forward and the aft overhead. It's just basic math. It was really simple when I found a drawing. Found all the measurements. Uh, well, I, um, like this, here's the main instrument panel. There's the front, there's the wind, windshield, it's the roof. And I figured out the distance from the autopilot to the beginning of the forward overhead is 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters. Distance between the autopilot and the um, forward overhead is 20 centimeters. And from the front of the overhead down to the floor is 1280 millimeters. From the uh, end of the forward overhead to the floor, 1585. And the rear. Uh, aft overhead is 169. That makes for a differential of 10.5 centimeters. Uh, so what I, what I did was just <clears throat> lay down these steel tube on the floor, and this one I've already made, and measured out 10 centimeters. From, uh, from this line to the end of this tube. And this is perfectly, this, this per, uh, fits perfectly in the aft overhead and the forward overhead. So that's, I got my angle right there. And this mounts right in the overhead system, like that, like that. I need to cut grooves in the aft overhead to mount it on this steel tube. And um, I think it's gonna work out perfectly. I wish I could work a little bit more today, but I, I can't, I gotta go pick up some uh, groceries before it closes up and uh, the day is over anyway. Uh, I'm gonna make a, another video tomorrow. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll have, um, I'll have some support bars welded in right there and one there. And I have, I'll have everything assembled onto the steel frame. And maybe by tomorrow afternoon, something like that, I want to be able to mount it into the ceiling. I've already cut into the roof uh, to get it ready for the overhead. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, how much I'm going to be able to do. And um, guys, sorry, that's, that's about it, what I have got to show you today. Have yourself a good night. I'll talk to you probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.